Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Gartner, a double board certified plastic surgeon. What if I told you your body performs one of the most complex chemical reactions every time you eat, and then it ends up in the toilet? Let's follow your food from the first bite to the very last. And if you stay tuned towards the end, I'll give you five tips on how to improve your digestion. Digestion begins the moment you take a bite. So even before you swallow, your saliva has multiple enzymes with amylase that break down starch. Food is shuttled from the mouth to the stomach via the esophagus. So the esophagus, otherwise called the slide, food gets down this muscular tube, no gravity needed. A ride that will take about five to eight seconds. The peristalsis is the involuntary muscular force that propels food through the digestive tract. It almost looks like an ocean wave pushing food from one organ to the next. When food reaches the end of your esophagus, a ring-like muscle called the lower esophageal sphincter relaxes and lets the food pass into your stomach. Weakness of the sphincter causes a backflux of stomach acid and heartburn. That's acid reflux. So acid reflux is not usually from too much acid. It's usually a problem with your lower esophageal sphincter and that acid goes back into the esophagus, which isn't protected from acid like the stomach is. Digestive juices and enzymes break down the food that you swallowed. This helps make nutrients available for absorption later in the small intestine. The digestive juices are powerful hydrochloric acids that kill pathogens in food and gives the stomach the low pH digestive enzymes need. This acid could literally dissolve most of the other organs in your body. Luckily, your stomach contains a thick mucus lining. And when that breaks down, that's when you have problems in your stomach and create ulcers. Sometimes this is caused by bacteria known as H. pylori, an infection in the stomach which breaks down that mucous membrane and has ulcers. So if you have digestive issues, you need to go to your family physician and possibly be tested for H. pylori could, as one of the culprits. The process of digestion takes longer for some types of food than others. Simple carbohydrates, such as an energy drink, break down the fastest. This explains why many recommend energy drinks for a quick energy boost. Proteins take longer to digest, and fats take the longest time of all. The stomach slowly empties its contents into your small intestine. The muscles of the small intestine mix food with digestive juices from the pancreas, liver, and intestine and push the mixture forward for further digestion. That breaks down the food and it gets absorbed. So the small intestine is known as the absorptive highway. The walls of the small intestine are covered by tiny finger-like projections called villi. These projections increase the surface area through which nutrients can be absorbed into your bloodstream. And so this absorbs stuff like crazy. As peristalsis continues, the waste products of the digestive process move into the large intestine. The large intestine is named for the diameter of the cavity, not for its length. The large intestine is also called the hydrator, where it pulls the water out, absorbs the water, and lets the bacteria go to work. Its role is to absorb any extra water from the digested material before it is finally excreted. If food passes through too quickly, too little water is absorbed and you might have diarrhea. If it passes too slowly, your body absorbs too much water and you may become constipated. It takes about 30 hours for food to move through the large intestine. All in all, the whole process, from the time you swallow food to the time it leaves your body as feces, takes about two to four days. Solid waste is characteristically brown and stinky. Do you know what causes its odor? If you guessed that bacteria are involved, you'd be right. Microbes that reside in the large intestine make a meal of the leftovers from the small intestine. The smell associated with stool comes from the gases released by bacteria. This is where you remember the next time you eat, you're running a biological factory behind the scenes 24 seven. The large intestine then empties its contents into the rectum. Its job is to let you know that there is a stool to be evacuated and to hold the stool until the evacuation happens. 
In that area of specialized nerve fibers, that's what's, when that expands, that's what give you the feeling that you gotta go. Here are five tips basically to improve your digestion. Tip number one, chew your food thoroughly and slow down. Try to bite it at least 20 to 30 times. Tip number two, stay hydrated. Water helps break up the food and move it through into the intestines. So tip number three is eat more fiber. Tip number four, don't lie down after eating. Give your stomach time to empty and avoid reflux from going back into the esophagus and bloating. Five, manage your stress. Chronic stress can disrupt your natural motility of your intestines and your microbiome balance. So there you have it. And I wish you health, wealth, and prosperity. And stay tuned for the next video if you like these. Hit the subscribe and like button. I appreciate it. Thank you.